me please. Thank you. And if you'd like to face me, could you just keep in a little bit, Stephen, because then we're not blocking the way. Thank you. Right. We're now standing outside what is some sheltered accommodation, which is owned and run by the Guildhall Fethment, as you can see there. There were, in the Middle Ages, there were various almshouses, we've just seen some, scattered around the town. And by the start of the 20th century, they were getting very old. So the Guildhall Fethment, I'll explain who they are in a moment, decided that they would sell off the premises that were scattered around the town and put them in one place. Well, actually in three places. They put some here, some in Northgate Street, some of you might know, and some in Southgate Street, but a sheltered accommodation to replace the medieval almshouses. Now, the Guildhall Fetment was started by a gentleman we've heard of a couple of times called Jankin Smith. Before he died in 1481, he gave a lot of land to the Guildhall Fethment. Fethment, Fefis, it just means trustees. They were the trustees of gifts to the town. Quite an old group of people. Or they started very early in the Middle Ages. They were the great and the good of the town, pretty much. And we'll see where they met later in the Guildhall. Now, Jenkins Smythe, he started off as Johnny Smith, actually, from Yorkshire. But he did very well in business, so he went a bit up market. Do you have any friends called Johnny? Oh, that's <laughs> nice. Well, this Johnny Smith decided he was so important, he'd change his name to Jankin, and not Smith, but Smile. So it's a bit of a mouthful after Johnny Smith. But he did very well, and he was very good to the town. And he gave, as I say, he gave a lot of land to the town. We'll see where the de deeds were stored later. Um, so this was a replacement for the medieval um, almshouses. Right, I'd like to move on, please. Time is